So we're checking in with Dr. Jen Ashton again from Boston here today. And there's a really interesting study, and honestly, I found it quite alarming about blood clots. We hear about them all the time, but to read that someone dies of a blood clot in the United States every six minutes. This is shocking. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, and, and we have to uh, keep our awareness and our education about this entity up. Um, it's personal for me. My daughter had a pulmonary embolism in 2020. Our friends in News One, our affiliate news service, have lost um, a member of their family due to this. So you need to understand. Deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, these are blood clots that form in the venous system, then they travel up uh, to the heart and can get lodged in the lungs. Uh, yes, as you mentioned, Kena, they can be fatal. Uh, a lot of different causes of them. The ones that I really want to highlight here for women, any hormonal situation, mm. pregnancy, being on birth control pills, mm. taking hormones, for anyone else, prolonged travel, um, flights or train or car trips, six or eight hours or or more being immobilized surgery can be a risk factor and so can covid um, so the symptoms difficulty breathing a sharp pain when you take a deep breath or pain in your calf or your leg you want to get it checked out and in terms of prevention you guys for the things that we can control hydration moving around if you're going to be immobilized put those compression stockings on and talk to your provider about whether a low dose of aspirin uh, can be helpful. So but you recommend this is important. And Jen, you recommend compression socks when you're traveling. Uh, absolutely, for men and for women. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Jen. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here, to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.